the first 10 to the power minus 43 seconds. Yes, this is the topic of discussion. Uh, I am talking about this time. This time is a fraction of a second and this is very very small as compared to one second only. Because it is 10 to the power minus 43 seconds. This time, yes, I am talking about this time after the Big Bang means first 10 to the power minus 43 seconds after the Big Bang. This time period is known as Planck era. Planck era, uh, this name is uh, given after the uh, renowned physicist Max Planck. According to, uh, to his name, this name is given to this era as Planck era. This is very interesting. Nothing is known, still nothing is known about this time period after the Big Bang. Though this time is very small, still physicists are very interested to know what happened during that time interval. Yes, this is not only for the interest of the physicists. To know the universe fully, the initial condition of the universe must be known. Means what happened at time is equal to zero. That is the moment of the Big Bang. What happened? After 10 to the power minus 43 seconds, many things uh, could be predicted by using existing theories. But the first 10 to the power minus 43 seconds, what happened during that period could not be predicted by the physicists. What is the reason behind this? Today's theories are not sufficient to solve problems during that extreme conditions. Today's theories means what? Today's theories means we are talking about quantum mechanics, the principles of quantum mechanics. Then general theory of relativity is there. String theories are there. there. Different string theories have been proposed by different physicists. So, so many things are there, but these theories are not applicable during the first 10 to the power minus 43 seconds. All these theories must fail because the condition was extreme. The temperature was as high as 10 to the power 32 Kelvin. 10 to the power 32. Okay. This is very, very, very high temperature. And what about the density? Density of the universe during that time period was uh, much more greater than the density of nuclei. Nuclei means I am talking about atomic nuclei. It is far surpassing the density of the atomic nuclei. So during those conditions, if you talk about general theory of relativity, no, that theory cannot be applied. Because according to our knowledge of general theory of relativity, space-time is a smooth curve, smooth and continuous curve. But in that extreme conditions, the first 10 to the power minus 43 seconds, during that period, if you want to apply general theory of relativity, then what is the requirement? The requirement is that the space-time, you cannot imagine the space-time to be Continuous and smooth. It will be foamy. Foamy like structure of the space time could be observed. Theoretically. Again, principles of quantum mechanics that would that must also fail. So, what is the requirement? Requirement is the theory of quantum gravity. Where both the general theory of relativity and the quantum mechanics. Principles of quantum mechanics are combined together. You know this term quantum gravity, but this is under development. This is still not fully developed. Physicists are working on this topic, quantum gravity. Then string theories are there. String theories are also trying to capture the effect of gravity in their theories. Okay. So first thing is 
it is the interest of the physicist and also this is our interest to know what happened during that small time period. What was the initial condition of the universe? And I am talking about only the observable universe, not the entire universe. Because uh, the speed of light, this is a limited value. What we can see surrounding us is limited by the speed of the light, by the limited value of the speed of the, of the light and the age of the universe. So whenever we are talking, uh, we are uh, discussing such theories, we are talking about only the observable universe. Again, one more problem is there. The first 380,000 years is still not known. We cannot observe those things. We are observing many things, which is the past of the galaxies, which is the past of many stars. Because suppose one star is 100 light years away. What is the meaning of that? Means we are observing the history of that star how much old is, old is that history? That is 100, year, 100 years old. Because that is 100 years away from us. Okay. So, this is the first thing. Second is, during, I uh, uh, mentioned one time, that is 380,000 years. The first, that much time, the history uh, whatever happened during that time interval is still not observable and uh, uh, this that is not uh, that won't be observable by the physicists because in uh, during that time period the photon particles okay uh, the photon particles were trapped inside the hot dense plasma they were, the photon particles were const, uh, constantly colliding with the surrounding particles. So those photon particles could not emerge out of that plasma. And since could not emerge, so uh, that up to that time period, the universe remains opaque to us. That is not observable and won't be observable. Okay. Means photon particles took that much time to emerge out of the to come out of that hot dense plasma and reason behind this is that the density of that plasma was too high that even photon particles could not emerge from there anyway so uh, the main topic of discussion was the first 10 to the power minus 43 seconds and there is so much problems what is the requirement the requirement is the development of new physics yes Development of new physics is required because whenever you are combining the general uh, general theory of relativity, this is known to us. Principles of quantum mechanics is known to us, but whenever you are combining all these things together, this will give you a completely new set of theories or completely new set of equations. Many physicists are saying that uh, uh, after the Big Bang, we are talking about only our universe. Maybe there is a chance that many universes emerged from the Big Bang. Anyway, uh, so I think uh, I should wrap up now uh, this lecture. Anyway, so this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.